a glorified body means spirited and knowing you're living for eternity. This is the perdition of ungodly men. This is the renewal of all things. The fire is God showing his full glory. Memories are forever. This memory is forever. And the memory of what it was like before is also forever to keep the world from going back. The tabernacle of God with man is a holy world. God's glory has made this city. The world, the church, the New Jerusalem is my wife. This is the new covenant of children blessings. Jesus spirit in me came from heaven. The union of Israel and Judah with the other nations is broken and we will be a people only for God and his way. The marriage supper of the Lamb is the Feast of Tabernacles. Jesus is the firstborn and we are the church of him. Just men are made perfect. Jesus is our only hope. I will purge you of dead works. There will still be sin even with no Satan to tempt us. Satan only tempted us to sin. He didn't make sin. There was evil before Satan. There will be no evil in the kingdom. There may be evil in the world for a while, but not in our group. What we are stopping is evil in our group. We currently even have sin and evil in our churches. We live by the holy law. There is no longer a covenant with nations, but only the nation of God's people. God has set me apart for his holy use. Standing on the sea of glass is to be in the image of God by the Spirit of Jesus. A glorified body is one full of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit in me has subdued all things. At the coming of Jesus, we know that we are immortal. Even I 
must become incorruptible. The only way to live incorruptible is to live in a world kingdom where there is no corruption, sin, or temptation. The only way to live in an uncorruptible world is to have God build it. This is the blessed deliverance. I must be perfect, sinless, full with the Holy Spirit, living only for God, and then I will be like Jesus. And you must also be. We will live in a glorified world. We are to get rid of all evil. When there is no sin and evil effects on us, then we are glorified. Jesus' life was affected by our sin. And he will be glorified totally when we don't have sin to affect him. A glorified world is when there is no sin or evil to affect it. God has told me he will not drive out all evil within one year, but that the mountain will grow into a high and great mountain that will last forever. And the mountain is the kingdom. We will be glorified in Christ, and Christ will be glorified in us when we both stop sinning and stop all evil. The resurrected will see the heavenly Christ without holiness no man will see the Lord. Friend or foe Jesus saying neither is also because I am denied by both. When I'm denied, the person denying me is opening the gates of hell to look in. Don't take others to hell just because you don't believe. In heaven, we are entirely occupied with God in Christ, with his worship, and with his service. In heaven, we will not have the physical needs we now have. When you deny me, you not only hurt me, but you hurt God. Another judgment question is, do you believe the Bible was written by God? New Jerusalem may not need sunlight. But there is. 